Welcome to the Bandana Grandma channel. Today in my kitchen, we are cooking meatballs. Hi, Bandana Grandma here. I'm standing in my kitchen once again trying to figure out what to make my family for dinner. And when I want something quick and simple with ingredients I'll have on hand, you know where I go. I go to my friend Tara's book, Dining on a Dime. She has a great cookbook uh, from the Living on a Dime Facebook people. And on page 177, she has barbecue meatballs. So I'm going to give this a try, see how it quickly it comes together and what it tastes like. You want to learn the same? Stick around. Now, Tara's recipe makes 30 meatballs. I'm going to have that recipe today, so all my ingredients will be cut by half of what it actually says in the book here. So I'm going to be using one and a half pounds of ground beef, a cup of oatmeal, one egg, she says uh, a, a half a teaspoon of onion powder or a half a tablespoon of onion, finely chopped. I'm using the chopped onion. Uh, half a cup of evaporated milk, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chili powder, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. That's all. Let's get mixing. My hands have been washed and I am going to add to this one and a half pounds of ground beef one cup of oatmeal, one egg, a half a tablespoon of minced onion. I actually put a whole tablespoon in because I love onions. Okay, one half cup of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of chili powder. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. here and get that mixed up. Using the tools God gave me. Now Tara also has a barbecue sauce recipe right below the meatball recipe on page 177. I really wanted to try making her barbecue sauce, but I was out of liquid smoke and that's one of the ingredients. So I'm just going to use a bottle of good barbecue sauce I have in my fridge. If you'd like a copy of Tara's book, Dining on a Dime Cookbook, there's an affiliate link down below in the See More section. I've got a small rectangular baking dish here. I don't know, about seven by 12? I'm just guessing. Now I'm just supposed to make meatballs and put them in there. So that's what I'm doing. And then I have a jar of, a bottle of honey barbecue sauce I'm gonna put over it. Trying to make these uniform in size. Well, you can come back after I've got them rolled. This is the last one. They made good sized meatballs, 15 of them, which fit perfectly into this little casserole dish. Now I'm gonna spread, pour the uh, barbecue sauce over them. Mmm. This looks like my husband is going to be in heaven tonight when he has this for dinner. Alrighty, doesn't that look great? I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 for one hour. And while that's cooking, I'm going to make some rice and a veg. Well, 
While the meatballs are cooking, I'm going to get some rice ready. I've got two cups of whole grain brown rice that I'm rinsing and polishing in my little sieve here. Something I like to do before I cook it. I'm making the rice now. I've washed the rice and I'm putting two cups of brown rice into the cooker with a little more than four cups of water. And I also added two tablespoons of oil. And to that I'm adding a quarter cup of diced onion and a quarter cup, let's make that an eighth of a cup, some of these are hot, about an eighth of a cup of chopped garden pepper, whatever kind of pepper you really want to use. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. And a teaspoon of minced garlic. I gave that a good stir, put the lid on, and set it to start. After an hour, they come out hot and bubbly and absolutely delicious. I served them up over rice with green beans and applesauce, spooning extra sauce on. My husband absolutely loved his dinner, and I absolutely loved his praise. Thanks so much for coming by and visiting at the Bandana Grandma Kitchen. And if you really like my videos, please remember to hit that thumbs up down below, the like button. That really helps my channel. And it also helps if you want to share my video with your friends, maybe on Facebook or Google Plus, to let them know that you enjoy watching Bandana Grandma. If you'd like to contact me, there's contact information and special links down below in the share more section. So come back again real soon. If you don't find me in my kitchen, come on out back to the garden. I'll probably be there.